Welcome everyone and uh, we'll continue working with this uh, the game application and uh, what we need to do at this point is uh, for this first label which we currently not really using this one let's take out this word uh, label from it so uh, it's not showing and then for the second one also I don't need to call it label and I want to make sure that uh, the second one and the images and um, actually for the images I can now put them to zero and this one I can put it also uh, to zero uh, this is the incorrect image and I need to come to the correct image and make that also zero So in the play game, before I go and play a new sound, I need to reset the image alpha to zero and reset the label text to empty. So I say correct image, set alpha to zero. Same for the incorrect answer image. And same for the label, and I called it full path, uh, set text to nothing. So this way, every time you call the turn, uh, it resets uh, everything and starts again. So let's... Uh, Try it again. So start again. You give an answer. It give tell you what the answer is and it disappears and plays the second sound. Wait for you to answer the sound, then play again. It give you what's the result, then plays the sound and disappears. And it keep doing this uh, ten times. Maybe uh, we might find it useful to display which turn we are on so that the user can tell uh, where it is. So maybe uh, instead of making the first label totally empty, we can display the number of counts in that label. As you can see, I'm getting all of it wrong. And so that's my game over. And I wait for me to do something else, which is supposed to be starting the game. So let me come here and uh, make that uh, small change. Set the label output and uh, set text. And I will uh, call the text and I would say that uh, we want to display an integer number here. And uh, that integer number uh, would be the turn count. And apparently I can't do uh, that, so I need to create that string uh, by itself. So I can come here and uh, define a new string, uh, ns string. Um, we can call this uh, turn uh, output, and uh, this can be ns string. And we can use a string with format, a string with format method to format a string made out of, uh, we can say, over 10, and we can say turn count. You can adjust to this message the same anywhere uh, you want, and you come here and say this is turn output. And we're having a problem. Oh, I'm missing the star. So let's see how this works. Start the game. So it tell you this is attempt to zero. So incorrect answer becomes one out of ten.
and if you notice um, since I am blending the uh, turn count before the game starts um, it's actually blending uh, the zero I will blend to nine but it actually doesn't play nine so I'm gonna need to blend I am not sure what that is so the turn account we can say here attempt uh, this out of this and the blend count to plus one All right. So the next thing that we need to do here is to add another uh, view. And when you, the user clicks on the stats, the second view will come up and display to the user the stats that we recorded. Uh, this is very similar to what we did in the past. Uh, so we need to add a navigation controller to our uh, storyboard which comes already set up with a table uh, view controller but I don't really need the table view controller so I selected and deleted so here is my navigation controller the arrow that points to the, the start game view controller I need to move that to point to the navigation controller then I need to set the start game to be the root view controller for this navigation controller so I click control key and drag from the navigation controller and drop on the uh, start game view controller and it will ask do you want this to be a segue or a manual or a relationship and the relationship is the root view controller we want to say this is the root view controller so it sets the, uh, the the navigation bar here and sets the root view controller and I can add uh, a label here and I can call this uh, here uh, training uh, game and then I need to uh, add another view view controller and the view here to display the stats so here is the view controller so I need to add a view controller here and I can uh, on that view controller I need to add a class which will have an implementation file and a header file and connect to that class with the uh, view controller as well so I go to file or I uh, go here and say new file and I want to add an objective C class and I'm gonna call this stats view controller or the statistics view controller and I want this to be of type UI view controller subclass of UI view controller and then next says where do you want to save that so I want to save it in that folder and then create So here is my uh, files and here uh, is what it is. Then the next step is I need to link that file with my view controller. So I click on the uh, identity in inspector and I type the name of the view controller in here. So I say here it is actually stats view controller and that connects this class file with this uh, view control the next step is to add a segue so I come from the view controller click the control key 
and drag into the stats view controller and it says do you want to define a manual segue yes and we're going to call it a push i'm going to use a push segue so it it adds the stats view controller as part of the navigation and adds a segue here that we need to give it an identifier and we're going to call this show stats the show stats segue will when it's performed it will display the stats view controller on the stats view controller we will add a label we can add multiple labels or we can look for uh, So you can choose many different types here. Um, let's stay with the label for now for simplicity. And I needed to increase the size a little bit here. And um, I am running out of time for this video, so I will stop here. And in the next video, we'll, we'll reset and resize. We need to make this label multiple lines because we will be displaying uh, different statistics uh, in it. Uh, thank you.